was walking my dog on the beach when I noticed that the cliffs are made of horizontal stripes of rock. But what causes this? To understand this, we need to explain how sediments are formed and explain how sediments are turned into layers of new rocks. Existing rocks can be broken down into small pieces or sediments in a process called weathering. There are three main types of weathering. Physical weathering is caused by temperature changes. For example, in freeze-thaw weathering, water gets into cracks in the rock. When the water freezes, it expands and forces the rock apart. This happens many times, eventually breaking the rock. An example of chemical weathering is when acid rain reacts with substances in rocks. Even plants or animals can break up rocks. This is biological weathering. The sediments formed by weathering can be moved away by water, ice, wind or gravity. The combined process of weathering and transport is called erosion. Eventually, sediments settle in one place. For example, they may sink to the bottom of the sea. This is called deposition. More layers of sediment are deposited on top. Over millions of years, the weight of the layers above compress the ones below, and they harden into sedimentary rock in a process called compaction. Sometimes, another substance seeps between the sediments and hardens, sticking or cementing the sediments together. The whole process leads to the formation of horizontal layers of sedimentary rock. So, erosion breaks old rocks into small pieces and transports the sediments. These are deposited in layers and compacted into sedimentary rocks. This explains the stripy appearance of the cliffs at the beach. Each stripe is a layer of sedimentary rock. <laughs>